Hello everyone. Okay, so I'm having some technical difficulties. I apologize if ooh, son, I like that already. I apologize if um the video gets blurry at any given time. I just have not been able to figure out what's been happening today. Okay. So I already see the sun here. So we are dealing with happiness today. Um, I do apologize for getting to the reading a little later later today. It is a long weekend here in Canada. So I have been sleeping in and just doing me, okay? So already I see, I was about to say love, but I see um, happiness here, okay? Let's see what we're dealing with. Queen of Cups. Okay. King of Wands. <laughs> Tower. Wow. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Tower. Okay. Somebody desires you. <laughs> I mean, this, what seems like a masculine energy is looking towards, I don't see two women here. I'm seeing this masculine energy seeing you as emotional fulfillment and someone they can create something with. They also see you as someone who's creative in your power, ability, anything you touch turns to gold. And then they see you as someone who's compassionate, understanding, and healing for them. This person sees you as the way forward. So the one thing is, is you have your back turned against this person while they are looking towards you. And then the other thing is, you can all be just synchronizing in the same way forward. So take that how that resonates. The tower is telling me that there is a shift in this person's energy here. I think there's been a shift in your energy for quite some time. You may have been in a page or night type of energy, but you've graduated and you're a queen. I feel like there is an element to you that's balanced out between your head and your heart, your action space and your emotional space. And you're now creating something, creating a life for yourself that's meaningful, that's full of purpose, that's been made for you. You could have been working towards this for a very long time, okay? Tower, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and then Nine of uh, swords and nine of cups and then judgment and then ten of cups and six of cups holy i won't take all of these but essentially i'm seeing that this person it seems to me a past connection because there's a resurrection here and then there was a, there's a return it has a potential of being happy but i'm seeing this person is quite anxiety ridden because there are changes happening in their life okay i'm going to shuffle cards to see what this person's energy is but i just wanted to pull that up right now um, let's see what the tower is here I have to say this, I strongly do not feel that this masculine is dealing with two feminine energies. This is you. These are two parts of you that are now synchronized. And as a result, this person suddenly turns their eye towards you. When well, they could have had their back towards you this entire time. What is the tower energy here, spirit?
Eight of Pentacles. Sun. Lionsgate. Oh my god, this this Lionsgate. I can't. One more. Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. <gasps> Almost spilled my coffee there. You know what I've been saying? When I spill the coffee, there's an emotional expression coming. The Tower, Eight of Pentacles. The Sun, which is Leo Energy, and Ace of Cups. I am seeing quite strongly that August will be a shape-shifting month for this connection. I actually feel August is going to be quite a strong shape-shifting month for a lot of romantic connections, okay? And a lot of partnerships, period. Um, what I'm specifically seeing here is that this person could be coming forward with an offer of love around this time. Or could be understanding that this is something that they want to give you. They are hard at work here. And I'm seeing that they've been forced into this situation. It could be such that certain circumstances around them are challenging them to step up their game and now start thinking, acting, being, earning, working in a certain capacity. Something that they're not used to. It is a shift out of their regular comfort zone. Okay? But it seems that... The harder they work, the more happiness and love enters the picture. And this is just not for you. It's for them as well. Their value increases. They start feeling good about themselves. They may have been resisting this work for quite some time, but I'm seeing the circumstance that's taking them there is not the greatest. It's uncomfortable. But as they gain their flow in this area and they start seeing some results, they'll feel motivated to keep going and something wonderful happens. Okay. Let's see what this King of Wands is feeling right now. feeling right now eight of wands ace of swords oh my god they want to communicate oh <coughs> this is a double communication card for me they want to communicate they want to communicate there's an urge and a desire to talk to you here to express truth and authenticity maybe rectify a situation that didn't go well but they're resisting Why are they resisting? Okay. There's more for this person to learn. I'm understanding that they're... While this energy... Okay. As the shifts have taken place, as they've been forced into this area of doing the work, I think this is a very 3D circumstance. Okay? I think this person has had to start living thinking and doing differently as a result saying things differently too as they approach this the feelings inside them begin to shift shift towards you just look at the way the sun came the, the sun in the um the ace of cups kind of flew out there out of my hands i'm seeing that they've suddenly just started realizing that the emotions in them cannot be contained that there's happiness within them that they want to express this that they have love it's like as this person as this person's 3d circumstances have changed they've begun to understand they've begun to understand how they feel about you you know it's it's like this it, okay you know what they are a masculine energy okay they are creative and passionate masculine energy here and most likely a fire sign here so aries leo sagittarius they need certain things in their life in their 30 in their 3d circumstances to work in a particular way in order for them to start feeling good not only about themselves but be able to give and receive love and just be able to communicate effectively this has begun against their will. They have no choice. They've begun doing the work. Now, the positive side effect of this is that as they've approached doing the work, suddenly they start to have these internal shifts that they're welcoming. It's a good feeling for them inside. Now, the resistance comes from actually saying something. So if you were connected to this person, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm already getting like a, a phlegmy throat here. If you were connected to this person, I'm seeing that it was always very obvious what this person was feeling inside, but they just couldn't say it. Instead, they would express through their eyes and, you know, show through their actions and maybe some sort of a beautiful side remark and you'd understand what is happening. But this person still struggles with that, okay? In this case, I'm seeing that this person here, as much as there is a need and a desire to communicate, again, I have eight here, so I'm getting a very August Lionsgate kind of vibe here. Um, I'm seeing that this person wants to be able to communicate, but they are still working on themselves. The resistance is, I'm not ready. 
The resistance isn't anymore that I don't want to. It's just that I'm not ready. So there's a change and a shift in the resistance too, with so much desire to communicate, so much action-oriented energy, and so much authenticity here. This person will take action, especially with the Seven of Wands here too. Got so much action energy. They're probably just trying to get the last bits of the nuts and bolts ready and maybe drop your eyes and cross your T's. There's also a level of unknown here that this person is a little nervous. The timestamp there was 1044, which was 144, so that could be a sign for some of you guys, but... I'm not seeing that this person wants to take like five years in learning. They're learning a lot, but I think they just want to really be prepared. Any more insight and clarity here? The High Priestess, Queen of Wands. Wow. That's a pair right there. They desire you. They see you as sexy. Their intuition is leading them towards you. They can't deny this anymore. They cannot deny it any longer. Now with the Queen, <clears throat> you show up as three queens here. What's significant here is that the only queen that hasn't shown up here is a queen of swords, and she's the one who's a little cut off. This one is sexy and passionate and creative. This one is emotionally fluid and grounded. This one is ready to create. She's grounded. And look, the heart. Oh my God, the high priestess and the hierophant is a divine pair as well. Wow, we've got two divine pairs in the mix. So this could be a divine counterpart connection. Okay. This person is acknowledging this. To get two confirmations of divine counterpart connections in this one spread, I'm seeing that the universe is communicating to this person that you're the one. This universe is the, the, the universe is communicating to the person that you've always been the one. This person is understanding it. They may still be trying to resist it to a certain level, especially if it challenges how they've been seeing themselves their entire life. But the communication is coming around. The the idea of the universe and the divine completely entering the picture against this person's will is here. They've already begun. If this person resists any longer, the universe is just going to, you know, move the tower from here over here. This person has no escape from the divine at this point. They've resisted it so long, the divine's like, okay, enough. No more bullshit. Now, lastly, let's understand more about you because you're coming up in beautiful energy here as a high priestess, queen of wands, queen of cups, queen of pentacles. So to me, I'm seeing that you've risen in your power. Okay, let's see what the Ten of Swords is about. You've completed cycles, is what I'm seeing here. You're, oh my God, you're completing cycles. That's exactly what these two cards say here. You're putting the anxiety behind you. You're not waiting for anybody. You are understanding your value. You're understanding your worth. And now you're working towards that. The minute you step into this power, in your power, this person's eyes, ears, legs, arms, heart are all pointed towards you. Being in your authenticity is the sexiest thing you can do. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Three of Wands. Okay, what I'm seeing here is that you've begun a new journey. This person is beginning beginning a journey that you've already undergone, okay? So they are taking baby steps towards this. But as, but as you step into your power, you become a page too. So this is where you're a little inexperienced and you are gaining wisdom and you're working towards your ascension and you're working towards your liberation. Take it easy, keep your eye on the big picture and just surrender. So you're new over here on this journey and they are just being forced into this journey here. But either way, there is union in the mix, okay? So take it how it resonates. Sunny love.